Hey guys, today's video comes on request from one of our subscribers going by the name of Gorks. Before we get into it, if you guys have any videos that you would like to see or questions that you can't find the answers to, let me know in those comments down below and I'll see what I can do for you. Today's video is going to be all about the glitch transition in Red Giant Universe. Now we're going to be doing it inside of DaVinci Resolve, but you can do it in pretty much any NLE. So all you're going to do for this is you're going to make sure that your effects library is popped open just like that. And then we're going to go ahead and get into our open FX here. This is once you've already got Red Giant Universe installed. Obviously, if you haven't installed it yet, it's not going to show up here. We're going to type in you. Nah, we're going to type in glitch. All right. And then we're going to make a cut in our footage. Oops. We're going to make a cut in our footage out here just so that there's some movement between the transition because this guy on a longboard is moving throughout the whole entire clip. So with no transition, it's going to look like this. Doot. Just going to cut hard right there to that. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our glitch transition, drag it on out there and pop it between these two clips. That might be a bit too long, so we're going to shrink it down and then we're going to go ahead and hit play. It's a little bit hard to load from my computer, so we're going to go through it frame by frame. So you'll see the, tr the glitches start to happen, and then they really get harsh, and then it transitions into that next clip where he's just skating along. It's that easy. Um, sometimes you'll run into an error, or not necessarily an error, but a time where it's significantly more challenging to use this transition. And what happens then is you'll bring it out to pop it on your footage and it won't go between the clips like this. It'll get stuck on one side or the other. And you won't be able to get it in there. And what that means is that you don't have enough data in this space right here to make that transition happen. So if we wanted to take, say, like add another clip in here, like we'll just do this one and we'll get rid of this. I'm going to bring our clip down onto our footage, onto our timeline. And then we're going to go ahead and back out here a bit and we're going to just cut that down right there. And this is just to show you what happens when you don't have that data to use. So this one, we're going to use the absolute beginning of the clip. Since there's nothing before here and nothing after here, if we try to stretch those, if we try to grab that edge and pull it out, there's nothing going on right there. You can't pull either of them because there's nothing past those frames. So if we try to bring our glitch transition in right there, it's not going to do it. It can't do it because it has nothing to transition with. There's no extra anything for it to use in there. So it's going to be like, no, no, I'm not doing that. You can't put me there. So what you need to do in this situation is you're going to need to leave handles on the edge of your footage, as some people call them. We're going to use this right here as our handle. And... If you're going to be doing this outside of this example, you just want to make sure that you leave a little bit on the beginning and a little bit on the end of all of your clips that you're going to be able to work with. Because now that we have that extra data in there that's been deleted, we can just go ahead and pop our glitch transition right between those and it's got enough to work with in there where it's going to do exactly what you want it to do. Quick and easy tip. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to check out a couple of these other DaVinci Resolve tutorials inside of this playlist right here. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. And like I said earlier, if you have any questions or videos that you want to see, leave those in the comments down below so that I'm able to get those solved for you. See you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.